Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Governed. Now, listen, I admit it. I'm going to call out a billionaire in this video, and frankly, he deserves it. But I don't really have anything against billionaires, uh, per se, or specifically. Sure, I've definitely attacked uh, billionaire George Soros in the past for doing everything he can to destroy freedom and liberty in our country and around the world. And who wouldn't mock the uh, billionaire Michael Bloomberg, who beclowned himself with just this myopic and expensive failure of a presidential race in 2020? I mean, this is the perfect example of how these guys are often not as smart as they think they are, and the ego bubble in which they live is just shockingly isolated from the rest of reality where the rest of us live. Now, money can buy you a lot, but even billions of dollars can't buy you discretion, honesty, intelligence, or certainly common sense. But of course, what really annoys me about billionaires like this is when they decide that uh, to dedicate their cash and focus it on hurting the rest of us. Now, these are nationally prominent billionaires by most Amer for most Americans, they would know them. But I like to focus my videos closer to home. So let's talk about a particularly obnoxious billionaire who's just hurting us at a local level here in Washington state. And I'm talking about local Bellevue billionaire Nick Hanauer and his hypocritical efforts to hurt the rest of us while he pretends to virtue signal for his rich progressive friends. Now, Nick Hanauer comes from a rich family, and that's not his fault. Good for him. I mean, he made his money from his family pillow business, picture framing, and an early investment in Amazon. So he's funded and then sold a number of successful companies in the recent past. So from what I can tell, he inherited his money, or he made his money, making profitable investments over the past 30 years. So again, good for him. Don't regret him, you know, or begrudge him the money that he has. But Hanauer enjoys promoting a bigger bloated government that he wants you and I to pay dearly for. And at the same time, he really enjoys pretending that he's somehow down with the struggle by doing these silly TED Talk videos like this one, bragging about his wealth and how he wants to spend a small percentage of it, making sure that you and I have to pay a heck of a lot more and get even less value from big government. Now, Nick Hanauer keeps the money he made from his past business ventures, and because he isn't a complete idiot, he note that he doesn't give that money to government to waste. And he knows this because if he gave it to him, they would just totally blow it. So no, instead he uses a little bit of his cash to convince the government to take more of your money and waste that instead. So Nick Hanauer thinks that that is progressive. So let me give you some very specific examples. Hanauer supports campaigns that increase the cost of transportation, car tabs, health care and education by raising taxes on the poor and middle income people. Now none of those taxes have any impact on billionaires like him. You won't see him riding Seattle Metro next to the meth heads and insane criminal junkies like he expects the rest of us little people to do. No way. But he wants you to pay billions and billions of tax dollars and stick future generations with this costly tab while trains to nowhere never get built and the bus system becomes nothing more than a mobile junkie camp in Seattle. He supported all of this and he funded the special interest groups who contribute and they continue to make this dystopian reality in Seattle today. Now you won't see Hanauer give his own money to these incompetent transportation fiascos. Of course not. They'd squander his billions before the year would be done and they'd have nothing more to show for it than they already have to show after wasting the tens of billions of dollars that they currently already get. But what does he care? He won't be riding the crappy buses or the worthless light rail. That's for us, you and I, the little people. Now, worse than his funding of lobbying groups for wasteful and corrupt public transportation fiascos, his, his effort to make Washington state more dangerous for you and I, and make it more dangerous for us to live by reducing our ability to defend ourselves. I've referenced this guy in previous videos on this subject, but it's still worth repeating here. Keep in mind, Hanauer won't give up his armed security, and I don't blame him for that. I mean, it must be nice to have the money to pay a team of people to protect you. But most of us little people, we can't afford that. So we want the option to protect ourselves. This is why so many Washingtonians have purchased firearms over the past few years. But Hanauer doesn't like that. So he's relentlessly, more than any other billionaire in Washington state, dedicated millions of dollars to disarm us and attack our constitutional right to defend ourselves. In fact, every anti-gun initiative that's been proposed in our state since at least 2008 has been funded by Hanauer. Now, sure, he's also lobbied other billionaires like Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer and Michael Bloomberg and others to pool their millions to hurt us. Well, at the same time, they get all keep their personal armed security teams. But you see, we're just the little peasants who really, we shouldn't be allowed to own guns in the first place. After all, I mean, these guys know better than us peons out here in the sticks. 
At the same time, Hanauer funds the politicians and their campaigns, who then make proposals to defund the police and make it easier to commit drive-by shootings in our state. <laughs> I mean, that stupid idea was actually proposed by several of these Hanauer-funded clowns. And I'm really talking about Representative Hackney and Simmons here. I'm calling you out on this one because that was an absurd bill. And I've linked the public evidence of Nick Hanauer's funding of these candidates and their absurd bills. I mean, it's not the only ones, but some of the bad ones down below in the video description area, if you want to verify. So in addition to the clownish and corrupt candidates that Hanauer does fund, he also dumps millions into nonprofit, nonprofit pressure groups to increase taxes on the people of Washington, endlessly. I mean, there's no tax this billionaire doesn't like. The only time he doesn't like it is if it's too small. So as long as it bloats government, makes people dependent on the state, and of course, if he can make people much poorer than him pay the ultimate bill, that's a bonus. And now this is the same government, of course, to which he again refuses to give his own fortune. He knows that'd be a waste. In the, height of hypocrisy, in the height of hypocrisy, he even funds this stupid website called wallofshamewa.com, which launched this wall of shame to attack anyone attempting to support an effort to repeal just some of these stupid taxes. I mean, Hanauer is a billionaire. He actually pays leftist activists and a group called Civic Action to run a website attacking millionaires who are attempting to bully them and shame them because they dare to push back against a billionaire-endorsed taxes that he supported. So just let me repeat that because the absurdity is ridiculous here. A billionaire, Nick Hanauer, supports a tax, and then he pays leftist activists to shame millionaires for trying to repeal Nick Hanauer's billionaire-supported tax that will mostly tax people far less who, or make a lot less money than he does. So being a billionaire, Hanauer simply just doesn't believe the rules apply to him. For example, a few years ago, there were text messages uh, between the billionaire Hanauer and King County Executive Dow Constantine that were obtained through public records requests that clearly showed that Hanauer was exceptionally ignorant about the structure of local government, the fact that the King County Sheriff was an elected position, and he didn't like the fact that the uh, police, the SWAT team, was raiding a drug house and wearing scary uniforms somewhere on his way home. So his arrogance in these text messages, and then King County Executive Dow Constantine's bending over backwards to accommodate Hanauer, was funny and insightful by itself. Now, you and I and the rest of the little people, we won't get that type of response from our elected officials, but obviously there are benefits to being a billionaire, one of which is the fact that the elected officials will respond promptly to your requests, even if they're silly or ignorant. Now, these text messages by themselves, they didn't really bother me much. If you've been around elected officials at all, you know they have to prioritize their time. And it isn't unusual that they'll get respond, they have to respond to constituent requests at weird hours and oftentimes about odd subjects. However, when that constituent's a billionaire and is throwing a fit about something, and he successfully lobbies to make the formerly independent elected sheriff into an appointed position reporting directly to Dow Constantine, now that's a bit more disturbing. Never once is he concerned about actual public safety in these text messages. And this is just part of the hypocrisy. As regular viewers of my videos know, I spend a lot of time looking at financial disclosure information on the Public Disclosure Commission website. And I encourage you and others to do the same. Now, not surprisingly, Nick Hanauer shows up in hundreds of reports, giving millions of dollars of cash to some of the worst politicians and causes that Washington State has to offer. Now, not every dime that he gives is to a bad cause. Yeah, he funds plenty of things that most of us would probably support. But a shockingly large amount of it is just squandered on the worst that our political class can dredge up and dump into the public office today. Nick Hanauer might do a TED Talk, he claims he's a capitalist, and spout off about new economics. But the people he supports for public office almost all believe in some kind of a variation of the socialist Marxian approach to economics. It's about as ignorant as anything taught at the Evergreen State College or any other failing institution of higher education that we have in our state today. Now, sure, he likes to pretend that he's a capitalist. Well, he supports socialists in government. He claims there's something new about this approach, but it's really just the same old collectivist dogma that always leads to misery and pain for the greatest number. But what does Nick Hanauer really care? None of the harmful policies he supports and funds affect him personally. I mean, he insulates himself from the crime wave that he's helped encourage by living in big mansions and then paying armed security just to keep him safe because it's just you and I that are gonna suffer. If the cost of living escalates because the political weirdos that this guy puts into office push these stupid and harmful policies that just squander our future, increase the cost of living, and they burden future generations with more pain and debt and suffering, hey, Hanauer gets to pretend he had nothing to do with funding those problems in the first place. His kids have the trust funds, and he doesn't have to pay the price. No, it's just the rest of us who pay the price for Nick Hanauer's hypocrisy and bullying his lack of concern for the rest of us, and the glee he seems to revel in as he hurts regular people with his political policies, programs, and games. 
This is actually truly disturbing. But the bonus of being a billionaire, particularly one who brags about leveraging his minor millions, pocket change for him to force the government to extract billions from the rest of us to waste on whatever harmful schemes and dreams he desires, that benefit is that he doesn't have to pay the price himself. His family stays safe, his kid gets educated, his vac vac vacations aren't cut short, he gets his TED Talk time on the stage, and the politicians quickly answer his text messages. Nick Hanauer doesn't really care what happens to the rest of us little people out here. Which is why he's one of the largest donors to the Washington State Democratic Party, and it just makes sense. When you're a billionaire who funds the left, you never have to say you're sorry. You never have to pay the true price for hurting the rest of us. And you can insulate yourself from the consequences of the damage that you fund and inflict on the rest of our state. One side of the political spectrum in Washington state's clearly owned by the billionaires, just like Nick Hanauer, and it didn't cost him much to own them. In his TED Talks video, he talks about the proverbial pitchforks and the masses rising up. And I understand his concern, but if he really cared about that outcome, he'd stop hurting the rest of us with his political efforts. If he really cared about the homeless, maybe he could turn some of his massive property holdings into homeless camps or public housing. If he really cared about public transportation, maybe he'd actually go ride it himself and discover the nightmare that it's become. If he really cared about public security and crime, he wouldn't support politicians trying to defund the police. And if he really hated guns, he'd get rid of his armed security. And he wouldn't try to take them away from us. But if he thought about the government that he's helping is so awesome to bloat it, he'd give his money directly to them, and he'd stop making the rest of us fund his utopian, harmful schemes. Perhaps he could even convince his brother, who owns the Seattle Sounders, into giving free tickets to anyone who makes less than $200,000 per year. I mean, why not? Hanauer won't do any of this, of course, because he doesn't have to. The Democratic Party will protect the billionaire hypocrites who fund them, and the leftist activists will do the bidding of the guy who funds their dreams, too. Just because the left and the Democratic Party will do the bidding of the billionaires in this state, that doesn't mean the rest of us need to fall in line. The rest of us can resist the plans and schemes of this guy because he doesn't own us. He sure is hurting us, but we don't have to give in. And as more people wake up, we will not be silent or silenced. Now, we don't have pitchforks right now, but Hanauer's probably right. That day may be coming faster than any of us ever thought.